Good morning and welcome to Phil's Camping in Turi. My name is Phil. Today's video, we're going to talk more about these 12 volt blankets as well as the 240 volt blanket that I just picked up. Now, I wasn't going to film this video until after I test these three items out. But two of these products in particular, you may not be able to purchase within the next week because they're sold by Aldi. So you know Aldi's worldwide store that has specials, sales each week of different items. One week could be camping, another week gardening items, another week car items. Well, it just so happens that this week is a heating week <laughs> because we're just on the verge of some cooler weather coming. Although, in saying that, guys, the hot weather has come back. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Last night, I was sweating, so I slept with the window open. So I thought I'd better get a video out today on these two items because they are available right now as of the 29th of April, 2022, at your local Aldi store but you probably want to get in pretty quick. Now, my local Aldi store had plenty stock of these as of an hour ago, which is about an hour after they started selling them. So what do we have here? Well, we know we've got the kick-ass blanket here. So, still in this packet. I've only taken it out of the packet once. I plugged it in momentarily. I turned it on and, by golly, <laughs> Within about a minute, this blanket was already starting to heat up. <laughs> Very impressive. But I want to talk about these two today because I figured by the time I go out and do a video on this, these are probably not going to be available anymore until maybe next year. Today's the day to get this video out to let you know about these. These are a bargain. This one here, I paid $29.99 for it. For example, let's show the kick-ass one. I think this one cost me $69 plus about $20 freight. So I'm looking at about $80, $90 investment in there. This here is $29.99 at my local store just down the road. This one here, guys, this is a 240 volt. Now, you might remember the other day I spoke about trialing out a 240 volt as well because my vehicle has this awesome Victron Energy setup in it with the 1600 watt inverter that gives me 240 volts. And to, te to team that up, I've added the PowerPoll Australia, made in Australia, 12 volt, 330 amp hour capacity lithium battery. So that will give me a lot of time, running time on this. Now, I only just purchased these and I only just came back home. I came back home, I quickly set up the awning and grabbed these so I haven't even opened them yet. So this is how quick I want to get this video out. So this is the 240 volt version. Now this one cost me 39, no I think it was actually, let me go check. I cannot believe, I cannot remember. This one here only cost me 34.99. So it's only $5 more than the 12 volt version. So let's now open these up. We may start with the 12 volt version. First time opening up. Actually, let's have a look and see what it says on the packet first. Soft poly fleece. Indeed, it does feel nice and soft. Travel heated blanket, 12 volt. 50 watt power. So that's not bad, 50 watt power, that's not, lot, that's not a lot of power. In fact, what we might do shortly, let's plug it in my car. It's got an indicator light, 
5 metre power cable with 12 volt car adapter. Ideal for caravan and camping. Now I love that, 5 metres. How many times do you go out there, buy an item, to find the cable is way too short? <laughs> I know I have just about every time. And then you've got to go in the store, spend more money to get a longer cable. For example, mobile phones. Prime example. Now, the size is 1500 millimetres. So 150 centimetres, one and a half centimetres, one and a half metres by 1100 millimetres. It's 110 centimetres, 1.1 metre. Perfect size for us campers. Perfect size for your rooftop tents. So let's have a look. Now that's all it says on here. And that's pretty much what I just explained to you there. Is pretty much all I know about this blanket. Oh yes, we've got a manual here. Now that feels really nice. I love the colour. Here we are, getting started. So we actually do have a getting started guide here. How awesome is that? And we've got a pretty good instruction manual here. I'll need to go through and check this out. We've got a warranty certificate here. And one thing I can tell you guys is when you're dealing with a warranty with Aldi, it's a no questions asked money back guarantee with these and at any stage you have any problems with this as long as you keep your docket you take this to any of your local LDs no questions asked they will replace it or give you a refund let's open her up and have a look and I tell you that does feel very luxurious I'm quite impressed Let's just make this south a bit more room and I'll move some of this gear out the way. Now we've got more room here. Let's open her up and have a look. Generous lead, as you can see. Cigarette lighter socket. And here's the connection. It's very well made. Tell you what, for $29.95, $29.99 should say, $30 I might as well say, Australian. I don't think you're going to find a cheaper one out there unless you pick one up second hand. <laughs> you, you heard how much the kick-ass one cost me. So there's your generous 5 metre lead, which I've got to give them that. I think that's awesome because I'm pretty sure, I'll have to check, but I'm pretty sure that kick-ass blanket only has a metre and a half lead, if I remember right. I'll have to double check that. In fact, let's have a look. See if it mentions anything on the packet about that. No, it doesn't. But we'll, we'll open her up shortly and have a look and compare it to size with the Aldi 12 volt blanket. So, I can see here it's not only does it have a quick guide and a full instruction manual with quite a number of pages in it. And guess what? They're all in English. How cool is that? It's got step-by-step -step even photos shown in the magazine, in the catalogue. Now I'm curious to know if the kick-ass one has got that as well. But it's also got instructions. Look here right on the blanket as well. So how cool is that? Voltage, 12 volt DC, power 55 watts. So it appears that this has got one setting, which is interesting. It's either turn on or turn off. Let's have a look at the quick start guide and see what they say. Please refer to the instruction manual for full instructions on how to operate the travel heated battery blanket. Now it says number one, uh, make sure the power cable is securely plugged into the travel heated blanket socket, this one here, so you can actually unplug that. Start your car and insert the adapter into the 12 volt socket. 
Well, we won't need to do that with my 12 volt Power Paul Australia 330 amp hour lithium battery. <laughs> the other thing is with the lithium battery, Huge advantage over the AGM is the lithium battery holds a much higher voltage than your AGM battery does. So if you plug this into your AGM battery without your car running or without some charging going into the battery, you might find that these 12 volt blankets could actually suffer a bit, depending on how much draw the particular 12 volt bank blanket draws that the one you have chosen. We know this one draws 55 watts. So drape the travel heated blanket over your shoulders or your lap and smooth out any creases. The indicator light will illuminate red when the blanket is on. The travel heated blanket will then begin to heat up. When a travel heated blanket is finished being used, turn off the car and unplug power cable from your 12 volt socket. Allow the blanket to fully cool down before folding and storing the travel heated blanket in its original packaging. So it appears there is definitely only the one setting, heat setting. And this one here, it's just a turn on, turn off. Doesn't sound like there's a timer on it. Now in regards to the kick-ass battery, not the kick-ass battery, in regards to the kick-ass 12 volt blanket, that one right there, which we'll have a look shortly. It turns off after 45 minutes. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. My opinion, I think it's a bad thing. I know I've spoken to others who owns this. Stephen from Saw Adventures actually owns the Kick-Ass 12 volt blanket. And I asked him, did you find an issue that it turns off after 45 minutes? And he said, no, it doesn't. Because, now remember, it's got three heat settings. It's got low, medium, and high. So what Saw Adventures do is they set it on medium, and they turn it on just before they go to bed. And then they go to bed, and they find that it also actually, because their rooftop tent uses very heavy-duty canvas like mine does it actually helps to insulate quite a fair bit so by the time they go to bed it's warm in there warmer than it is outside generally depending how cold it gets of course and they find once they get in under their blankets that it's quite warm so they'll they'll lay there and then generally before the 12 volt blanket turns off they're in deep sleep actually i need a drink let me just get a drink. Let's see, what have we got? Today's drink, what shall we drink today? Love these bridges. Let's go for a nice icy cold Coca-Cola. Now I don't generally buy Coca-Cola in the cans, but would you believe last week before I went camping, both Coles and Woolies did not sell any of the bottled Coca-Cola. They had all sold out. So, <laughs> unbelievable. In fact, that's not the only items. Lately, I've seen many items are not in stock, are always out of stock at our local Coles and Woolies. It never used to be like that. It's, excuse me, I'll take a mouthful, because, oh, it's a pretty warm day today. It's like a summer day. Oh. Oh, geez, that's nice. Almost, oh, just feels like ice. The fridge is sitting at 3.2 degrees. Remember, I just opened it too, so it would have been colder than that. So, oh, it's nice and icy cold. Let's have a quick look through the manual here. And I just want to check to see. Okay, the blanket may take 10 minutes to reach maximum temperature. I reckon today it'll, it won't take too long. Cleaning the travel blanket, so it has a waterproof heated element, making it safe for hand or machine washing. Always ensure you detach the power cable with the adapter before exposing the travel heated blanket to water. So that's another thing, the kick-ass. 
I'm not sure if he can actually wash it. I asked Steve and Annie from Saw Adventures and Annie told me she just uses a wet sponge and wipes over it. This one here, you can wash. It says that it's important to make sure you get all the creases out on this. So let's turn it the right way up. Let's plug this little beauty in and let's see what we draw roughly, shall we? I have a pretty good idea in here with my setup. So right now I've got a system here that's drawing 5.9 amps. So let's just add to that. Okay. 5.9 amps, 10 and a half. So it's that, four and a half amps. So we're drawing four and a half amps. And that's already heating up. And it appears it stays on all the time. Now, there was another brand I wanted to get. I wanted to do a three-way review on three brands. The other one, unfortunately, is not available. It's not in stock. But reading online and from what I'm seeing online, the specs are pretty much exactly the same as this. So I wouldn't be surprised if that one is the same. This is the same blanket as that one there. Now that one's been sold, if I recall, at $59. Plus for me, I'd have to pay extra for freight. I wouldn't be surprised if probably came from the same manufacturing company because the specifications looks exactly the same. It's got one setting, turn on or off, and it draws around about the four, four and a half amps as well. How warm does this get? I don't know. We're going to test this, we're going to trial it. But hey, I wanted to get this video out quickly because I think this is a really good buy, $29.99. If you're in the market considering a 12 volt blanket, get out there guys to your local Aldi before they sell out, because I think these are going to sell out. Let's have a look at the kick-ass one and compare. Immediately, straight away, look how short this cable is. If I'm at camp, outside, sitting under the awning, I want to talk to me some of my mates, these blankets are going to be awesome to wrap yourself in when you're sitting down to keep toasty and warm, particularly if you don't have a fire. This one's going to be difficult to do that because that's the length of the cable. Remember, this one's five meters. I don't even think that's one and a half meters. <laughs> this would work in my rooftop tent because I've got power sockets up there where I can plug into. Unfortunately, you'd have to go and spend money to get a female to male 12 volt adapter for this one here, if you want to use it more than a meter away from any power socket. So let's have a look. I don't see any instructions. It's nice. Wow, that looks like it's actually, is it smaller? Is it smaller? It is smaller. It's actually smaller than the Aldi. And quite a considerably, <laughs> quite a fair bit smaller too, guys. Let's match it up. Okay, I know you can't see this end here, but I'm going to match it up. And, well, I'm surprised. I didn't expect this to be so much smaller. 
Now, I don't know if you can see this, but look how much wider that is. That's how much wider the Aldi blanket is. And the Aldi blanket is also longer as well. Now remember the kick-ass one, it's got a timer that switches off after 45 minutes. And apparently you can't override it. Because when I was talking to Steve about that and I asked him if that's an issue and he told me if he wakes up through the night and it's really cold, well then he just turns it back on and it'll stay on for another 45 minutes. So I suppose in some ways you could say it's probably a good thing or probably a bad thing. In my case it's probably a bad thing. I would like it that if I could at least have it on low till I turn it off because I've got a 330 amp hour battery that will run this for quite some time. Isn't that interesting? Let's have a look at the power drawer, shall we? I'm quite impressed with that Aldi one. I've got to tell you guys, I'm really impressed with that Aldi. I don't know for me having this blanket that actually switching off is a good thing. So we've got a constant load of six amps there. Uh, let's turn it on low. So we've now got it on low. So we are drawing 2.3 amps on low. So this will be good if you don't have a real huge battery bank. This will be perfect. So 2.3. Let's go to medium. Medium draws 3.5. 3.4 to 3.5 amps on medium. That's the setting that Stephen and Any from Saw Adventure uses and they say it works perfectly for them and now let's go to high high is four and a half amps it's the same as the aldi one four and a half interesting i'm sure you agree very interesting this would be magic for me if they didn't have the 45 minute time limit on this. Because I've got such a huge battery bank, I just don't like the fact that it's limited to 45 minutes time. Maybe Stephen and Annie, if you can help ease that, that I uh, know I did speak to you briefly about this one. Maybe if you can let my watchers know, including myself, the benefits and maybe try to talk us into the fact that that 45 minutes time limit is a good thing. Sorry if this video is dragging out a bit, but we've got a fair bit to cover here and I want to get this information out to you today because these two heating blankets are only available for a short while while there's in stock at your local Aldi store. So I want to get this video out today. For you guys. Now, these are available in different colors. You can get this one in the blue as well, but I decided to go for this nice charcoal. Now again, same as the 12 volt blanket, we've got a quick start guide. So basically, make sure the power cord control assembly is securely plugged into the throw blanket socket. Connect the plug into a suitable power socket and switch on the power at the mains. Drape the throw blankets over your shoulders or on your lap and smooth out any creases. Slide the on off switch from zero to one to turn the throw blanket on. The LED display will illuminate. The left digit represents the heat setting. The right digit represents the timer setting. So this one's got a timer. And you can adjust it. Now this one 
probably going to be more ideal for me in my rooftop tent. Press the temp button on the controller repeatedly to select the desired temperature setting. Press the timer button on the controller repeatedly to choose your required timer settings. And here's the full manual for it. So that I will have a look through later on. Now I know this one's 10 centimetres larger than the 12 volt blanket. I know that because it says so on the packet. <laughs> well it doesn't say this blanket's bigger than your 12 volt blanket. On the packets they got their sizes written on there. Let's take a look at the specifications on this one here, what's written on the box. So it's a soft micro fleece, similar to the 12 volt battery, heated throw blanket, nine heat settings, nine, 10 timer settings. So here you go, it's, this one's actually got a timer. Two meter power cord, machine washable, LED display. Check out the control on this. I just so happened to tap 240 volt on my vehicle. Let's plug this in and see what sort of numbers we get. We know we've got a constant draw of six amps through my system at the moment, because it is powering my fridge. It's a very warm day, so the fridge is not cycling on or off. And it's also powering my camera as well that I'm recording this now. So we've got six amps, constant draw. Let's go through all these nine temp sense settings and see how much each setting draws on power wise. Heat setting, number one, which I gather is the lowest heat setting for this one here. 3.2, three amps to 3.2. So that's pretty good, considering we've got an inverter turned on, a 1600 watt inverter as well. So let's go to heat setting number two. Heat setting number two, we are now drawing four amps. So three amps on heat setting number one. I can see four amps on heat setting number two. Let's go to number three, 4.8 amps on number three. So let's go to number four. Number four, we are now drawing. Oh, actually I just noticed, it's just cycled off. Huh, interesting, okay. So when this gets to the temperature that you've got it set on, it switches off. And then as it cools down, it switches back on again. So I'm noticing at temperature number four. So right now it's not drawing anything. And now it's drawing four amps. 4.5 amps. Now it's not drawing anything. Okay, it's not drawing anything. Now it's drawing 4.5 amps. All right, so it cycles on and off. Hey, that's a good thing. So that's heat setting number four. Let's go to number five. So we're now number five, and we are now looking at six amps. We are drawing six amps on heat setting number five. So let's leave it on for a little while. There we go. It's just switched off. So it didn't take long to, now it's still off. Now, no doubt, as it cools down, we've got a bit of a cool breeze. Here it is. We are now draw, drawing six amps at hit set number five. So let's go to number six. Let's see what we're roughly drawing on number six. At this stage, we're looking at 6.5 amps. We're still on 6.6 .6 amps. It hasn't switched off yet, so it's still heating up. 6.7, 6.6. Let's let that run for a while. Ah, it switched off. I just checked and it's actually switched off. So it's got, gone up to temperature. And now it's just turned on. Now it's drawing six amps, 6.8 amps. So let's go to number seven. And I'll be able to test this in the home here. 
and see how well it works and I'll run some tests to see how long each timer lasts for as well. So we're now on heat setting number seven and we are now drawing 7.4 amps and I'll notice it's cycling on and off as well, 7.4. So let's go to number eight to save some time because this video is dragging on a bit. We are now drawing, so we're drawing about eight amps and let's go to number nine, the highest setting. 9.7 amps by the looks of it at this highest setting. Well, that's a good thing. Definitely when it gets to temp, it then switches off and as it cools down, it switches back on again. So let's turn this off. So, now I wanted to get this video out to you today because I think these are going to sell quick. Now, as I get to use these, I'm going to have more videos out with more details and tell you how they are running overnight. Now we're back to summer weather here. I am scorching out the back here. I cannot believe how hot it has become again. I thought we were finally going to get some cool weather. So once we get some colder weather, I'll be able to test these out and do some follow-up videos and let you know. But if you're looking at Considering these type of blankets, the 12 or the 240 volt blanket, so far from what I've seen, I can re recommend the Aldi brand, particularly at the price. Till next time guys, like and subscribe, and any questions, ask below, and I'll do my best to answer. And until next time, look after yourself, be kind everyone, and cheers. Bye. Ha <laughs>